Hey, what's up guys? This is Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. I hope you guys are doing fantastic this week. We are upon the imminent release of Rancher Desktop 1.0. So Rancher Desktop is a great solution in case you've not heard about it as of yet to run Kubernetes locally on a workstation. It provides many great features that honestly, when compared to some of the other solutions out there, is far and above what we're used to. So stick around, we're going to take a quick look at version 1.0 beta of Rancher Desktop. Okay guys, how do we get started with Rancher Desktop? Well, Rancher Desktop is available from ranchardesktop.io. So simply uh, navigate to ranchardesktop.io. Uh, it's a very simple yet powerful uh, distribution of Kubernetes that Rancher has released that provides a desktop Kubernetes environment. Now, many use cases there primarily for development, but uh, you can use this for learning Kubernetes, for experimenting with various other projects uh, with the ranchardesktop.io project uh, running locally on your desktop. Uh, Rancher Desktop makes use of Container D, and it also makes use of the highly customized uh, K3S release of Kubernetes. K3S is a very minimal stripped down version of Kubernetes that Rancher has released that provides many benefits, especially when you're talking about trying to run just a minimal environment, little resources as possible on a desktop, whatever your use case is there. Uh, but Rancher Desktop is extremely easy to get up and running. Scroll down to the bottom of the page to the Get Started, click the Download Rancher Desktop, and it will take you to the official GitHub page. Now on the GitHub page, uh, as you can see, we're still at beta uh, release. However, that should change tomorrow if their blog posts and the information they uh, are putting out uh, is still on track. So to download the Rancher 1.0 beta, we just go to assets and then we select our operating system version that we plan to run Rancher desktop on top of and simply download the file. Now for me, uh, the workstation I'm working with currently is Windows. And so I'm gonna be downloading the Rancher desktop setup 1.00 beta 1.xe and we will just simply run the installer for Rancher Desktop. So after running the installer, we see the installation launch, and I wanna show you just how simple this is to install. Uh, basically, we accept the EULA, so we click I agree, and it's off, it's installing. So no other questions outside of, of that to begin with. Now we simply just click finish and we can leave the checkbox uh, to launch Rancher Desktop, which we want to do. So I'm just going to say finish. Now I'm going to show you one of the cool things uh, about Rancher Desktop opening ability to configure your Kubernetes cluster, uh, selecting which version you want to install in Rancher Desktop. And as you can see, you can go all the way back to 1.16 version of Kubernetes. Uh, but now uh, I'm just gonna leave it selected at the latest and greatest, 123.2, uh, which is uh, flagged as the latest. Uh, also, you notice you have the choice of using container D or Docker D. I'm just gonna leave this at the default of container D. So we're gonna uh, click the accept button and then what happens with the uh, installation and configuration once you select the Kubernetes version as well as the uh, container runtime. So there we go. We are actually instantiated with the K3S uh, Rancher Desktop.io uh, solution. So now what we can do is actually connect to this Kubernetes cluster using kubectl. So what I'm gonna do is take a look at the uh, context that we have because I work with other Kubernetes clusters and learning environments in the home lab. So I wanna take a look and see where we're actually pointed to. Uh, so we can do that by kubectl config get context. So we're gonna take a look and as we see, it's actually already configured the context of kubectl 
pointed to our Rancher desktop uh, installation. So now we can simply uh, do things that we normally do. KubeCTL, get nodes. Uh, we can actually look at uh, get pods. Take a look at the pods that are up and running. And as you can see, you can see those solutions that have already been integrated into uh, the RancherDesktop.io uh, solution. In just a matter of minutes, as you guys saw, we downloaded a file, set the Kubernetes version, and within a minute and a half, we have a working Kubernetes cluster on our desktop. And I'm really excited to see where this project leads. Are you using Docker Desktop or some other solution that I've not heard of? Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys are using. Uh, and let me know how you feel about Rancher Desktop. Is, are there limitations that you know of? Uh, what do you like? What do you perhaps dislike about the solution? And what do you think about the version 1.0 release? Well, I'm Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick walkthrough video of Rancher Desktop and this really nice solution to run Kubernetes locally on the workstation. Please do hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you guys soon.